Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I'm Lisa Marie. Today is part of my one and done series and my special guest is Sandra with DIYs at the Schwoman's Nest. And we are going to be bringing you Christmas trash to treasure. I can't wait to show you, so let's get right to it. For this DIY, I'm going to use a wallpaper roll and a broken pinwheel stick and gold and silver glitter, a toothbrush holder top, and several used and torn gift bags, some I've had for years. I'm going to take a blade and cut a little piece off of this insert of the roll to make a tree trunk. And then I'm going to use this flag red apple barrel acrylic paint. I'm going to paint the toothbrush lid. It takes about four coats to really cover it. I'm going to dry it with my heat tool from Amazon. If I mention that I got something at Amazon, there will be a link in my description box for my Amazon store and you can find it there if it's something that you need to. Next, I'm going to take linen white chalk paint by Rust-Oleum and I'm going to paint that little piece that I cut for the trunk of the tree. And I'm doing that because I want to create a kind of faux wood look. So once I paint it white and dry it, I'm going to take out my antique wax from Waverly and I'm going to go over it and only in one direction so it looks like a wood grain. And when that dries, it's going to look a lot like wood. Then I'm going to take this paper towel roll and I'm going to cut two circles out of it that fit the openings on both sides of the tree trunk because I don't want it to be hollow. This is truly going to be the most original Christmas tree. I'm going to use hot glue to attach one end and then trim that up and then for the other one I actually need to make a hole in it and so I'm going to use my crocodile tool that I got at Amazon and I'm going to make a hole right in the center and then I'm going to put some glue in first to create a little bit of a shelf and then I'm going to set that piece in and then I'm going to secure it with a little bit more glue and I'm also going to use the scissors to pull it up as it went in just a little too deep. If you happen to be on social media, I am on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you ever make anything that I've shown you, I'd love for you to send me a picture. That would be awesome. I'm going to add a little bit more hot glue just to secure that in there. I'm going to use this furniture marker from Dollar Tree in the color Walnut just to do that top and bottom section. As I mentioned earlier, today is part of my one and done series and my special guest is Sandra with DIYs at the Schwowen's Nest. And let me tell you, Sandra is incredibly talented. I really loved her DIYs. She does some of the best farmhouse DIYs and I really recommend that you would go and see what she did today. And if you're coming over from Sandra's channel, it is great to meet you. Thank you so much for being here and watching my video. And I will have Sandra's link down in my description box below. The next thing I'm going to do is take all of these gift bags that are torn or whatever and broken. I'm just going to start cutting them into pairs of squares, <laughs> not necessarily from the same bag. And what I'm going to do is start making large ones and a little smaller and a little smaller and a little smaller. And I'm going to glue the two pieces together, the wrong sides together. So both sides are like the pattern of a gift bag. I'm going to keep doing this. I end up doing this for 79 of them. After they're all glued together, I'm going to take my little scissors and I'm going to use the blade of my scissors and scrape along the edge to distress all four sides. I learned this technique from my friend Linda at Faith Chick 777's DIY and Design and I'll put her link down in my description box because she's definitely worth watching. Anyway, now that I show you what that looks like, I'm going to do it to all 79 pieces. I'm going to put on a good video and bam, I'm done. <laughs> I wish it was that fast. Anyway, it did take a little while. Now I'm going to take my glitter, I'm going to take my Mod Podge, and every single piece I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge around all four of the edges. I'm going to put either gold or silver or a combination of the two around all 79 pieces of my what's going to be a Christmas tree. And again, it is time consuming, but I think the end result is worth it. And like I said, there's lots of good videos out there to watch, so you know, I had plenty to do. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of this. There they are, all done. <laughs> Again, I wish it was that fast. Anyway, I just wanted you to see what they look like. I'm going to take that little pokey screwdriver thing, and that's the piece that came from a broken pinwheel. And I'm going to bend each piece in half one way and in half the other so I can find the exact center. And that's why I'm going to take that little screwdriver thing and poke right through. And then I'm going to put it right over the top of that broken pinwheel piece. So that will start with my tree. And the biggest pieces will go on the bottom. And I have them ordered from biggest in the bottom to smallest on the top. And again, I'm not going to make you watch me do this just a couple times so you get the idea. And then I'll show you where it is at after they're all attached.
and I'm going to stagger them uh, so they're not just laying on top of each other so that there's little points all around. You know, I just mentioned I was watching videos while I was doing this. Well, I've created a mega video playlist. So if you're ever crafting and you want something to watch for a long time, you should check it out. The link's in my description box. Well, there, we're almost done. Just have to add the top pieces. There we go. There are all the pieces attached. Now I'm kind of squishing them down, trying to fold them down so it looks more like a tree. I'm gonna use some E6000 and hot glue to attach my tree trunk to my base. I'm gonna hold it in place until the hot glue dries because then I can keep working. I want you to see a side view of all of them. Now, I should have made some more pieces that were kind of the middle size, and I guess I just didn't realize I hadn't made as many. Hard to know until you're there, but I still like it. It's a little unusual looking, but it is definitely the most original tree. Now, I've got these two laser cut stars from the Dollar Tree, and put some Mod Podge on them, and then I'm gonna sprinkle both the gold and silver glitter over the top of both of them. And then in a moment, you'll see how I'm going to attach them to that very top of the broken pinwheel stick. I gotta tell you, that glitter's everywhere. I'm gonna be seeing it for weeks. You guys <laughs> just want to remind you that Sandra's link will be down in my description box so please go check her out don't they look pretty though they look like they have like diamonds on them so this is from the very top I'm gonna to put some hot glue on one side of that point at the top you know hot glue one of the stars and then I'm just gonna turn it around and do the exact same thing to the other side so they're like their backs are facing each other but that way there's a star no matter which side you look at it from I think it's beautiful I think it's very unique and I've never seen anything like it you'll have to tell me if you have it was really cool to make it's a great feeling to take something that was gonna go in the trash and turn it into something beautiful Thank you so much for watching my video and I want you to know that you are a blessing to me. If you like this video, I'll put a couple more up on the screen that I think you'll really like, so feel free to check them out.